Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Florida State's played like the number one team in the country so far this season. They deserve every accolade they've received up to this point. But you know how this deal works. One misstep, one mistake, one face plant, and everything you've worked for goes down the tubes. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. We're live at Doak Campbell Stadium in beautiful Tallahassee, Florida. And we're looking forward to a great game coming up. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Clemson, Clemson tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. And he's tackled at the 14-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country, and you and I have been looking forward to this. Rivera's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played, really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to at least shutting him down. Black five, black five, green 15. Inside run, and he's hit hard. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. They line up at the 14. Second down. that quickly incomplete florida state's got a kid who is playing fantastic this year and he's garnering national attention and you sit down with this kid he's very special there's really no surprise he's among the nation's elite right now it's third down and 10. ball on the 14. this one out to the left great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled Gibbs back deep to return he punts it away and there's no hang time on this one Quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Gibbs gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 47-yard line. Perkins takes a handoff. He's at the 40. And he's level at the 29-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass.
First and ten. Ball in the 29. Tries to get around the corner. And they make the stop at about the 13. First down. Two times, two times. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From the 14-yard line, it's second down. Here he goes. Touchdown, Tigers. converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Hurricanes were ranked number 13. They took care of business and they should hold their spot next week. This one was tight. Clemson is ready to kick it away. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Fires across the middle. And down he goes at the 40. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. He shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He heaves it deep. And it's going the other way. Gets past the tackler. And he tackles him hard at the 17. Clemson is up a score. Tackle made at the 17-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass. That's four yards on the play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he is drilled at the 33. From their own 33-yard line, first down. Little handoff. He's at midfield. Got an opening. Inside the 30. He's all the way home. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 84-yard drive. And the result, seven points.
So our score, 14-0. Chandler has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. The Tigers are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He's wrapped up for the sack. All the loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They come out in an empty backfield. Throws it to the outside. That's incomplete. Good effort there by the receiver. But just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. to punt there's a punt and it's a line drive pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there Taken down around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, second down. Nice run there. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Corbett is back to receive. To the 30. He gets hit out of bounds around the 32 yard line. The Tigers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the Schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. They'll bring him down at the 45. First and ten. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. He goes downtown. Can't connect. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. yard line that's a loss of three yards on the play that'll make it third and 13. third down now and they need to get it inside the 45. 
They'll spread the field with five wide. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. He hits a low one there. He's got the corner. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. Not a bad return. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Clemson. And he adds the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Temple Owls doing battle in Philadelphia. The Terrapins continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. And for Campbell, he's run for a couple of touchdowns. Maryland's on top, 34-27, midway through the fourth quarter. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, Clemson's got a three-touchdown advantage. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 21. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fires that quickly, incomplete. That'll bring up third and four. him hard at the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Throws out to the running back, no good. Three yard line. 
That's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Let's it go. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. Gibbs back to return it. Gets it away. It's low. This is why special teams is so important. The punter just gave his team great field position. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop at the 20. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. From their own 20-yard line. First down. He's out to the 30. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Tigers. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Looking for the corner. Down the sideline. They return it all the way for the touchdown. That was some play by the special teams. You like that? You like that? And he tacks on the extra point. And Trout ready to kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And 
and they got to him before he could get back to the line. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. It's third and five. Ball on their own 30. Five wide. And he's hit immediately. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. Tackle made to the 47 yard line. From the 47 yard line, second down. Gets out to around the 28. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28. Perkins gets the ball. Brought down at the 29. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at about the 13. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. This is the 10th play of this drive. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's on the run. Got it complete, and he's out of bounds.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Big gain there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big gain. yard line. Hale gains two yards with a short completion. Nice play there to move the chains and keep the drive rolling. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Got a man. Watch out here. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. And the goal line defense digging in here. They'll run it. Show some moves and he's in. And he hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 80-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think three, back to three, what that three, defensive three. coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Clemson will take their second time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. The Tigers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He wants it all. And they intercept it. The sophomore safety. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. The Tigers with a three-touchdown advantage. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. They make teams underdogs for a reason. And we saw the reason in the first half. Very decisive lead right now. And, and there appears to be very little hope of this team clawing its way. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Complete. He's got room. That's a great tackle. It's a 32-yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Throw 
throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gets to about the 47-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's hit and taken down. in the open field. He's taken down at the 32. Has it to the senior. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. converts the extra point. A four-play, 80-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after a touchdown, after a touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Seminoles' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. They're set to go for another round. Second down, six to go. Ball of the 29. You like that? You like that? They'll spread the field with five wide. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's finally taken down at the 45. First down. Yeah. 
You like that? You like that? Run play and he'll lose yards. From the 48 yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires it quickly. Caught. Nope, it popped out. Incomplete. Cleveland, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Looking for his man, incomplete. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. Robinson is the putter. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. From their own 36-yard line, First down. He's rolling right. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. That makes it second and ten. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Caught, and that's a first down. And they push him out at the 45-yard line. That's good enough for another FSU first down. From the 45-yard line, first down. Slings it out and it gets tipped. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Let's go, let's go. Yona, Slides down. Around five yards there on the option keep. That'll make it 35. From the 40-yard line, third down. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. Tackle right around the 30. That's a D in the move the James To get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30 yard line. Launches one for the end zone. He scores. What a play. And he adds.
adds the extra point. Cantrell has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Seminole staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Uh, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Clemson is up a score. made at the 21 yard line where in the world was he going on that run well, that's a good question i thought for a while he got his directions messed up from their own 21 yard line it's second down and they make the stop at the 22 so the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard Intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Brought down at about the 31. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. Corbett is back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Has some daylight. He's at the 40. To the 20. To the 10. Dives and gets the score. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, a good one unfolding in Seattle. The Huskies unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all this one great kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away both sides seem to know what to expect He's to the 40. Makes it to the 44. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. hit and got away. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. And so we've reached the end of quarter number three here with one quarter to go. We're all tied up. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. 
The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime work. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. At the 35-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Perkins gets another carry. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Tigers. the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. Anthony is deep to receive, and look out, folks. He's looking to run another one back for six. From his own goal line. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They come out in a five-wide set. He lets it fly. Needed that play, and he dropped it. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Going deep. Got a man. Watch out here. Touchdown, Florida State. And some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. That's his third toss for a score. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. A short three-play, 73-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Florida State gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. A couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Makes it to the 37. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. On the draw. Just a simple draw play there, but they That's picked up some big yards. yards. First, First down. down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There he goes. And he's taken down at about. 
the 27 yard line that's another first down brad and right now you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in their ability to pick up first downs just pushing this defense further and further down back deep into their own territory from the 27 yard line it's first down now he's flushed and they got it i think that one's on the offensive line they've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They go with a screen, and it's going the other way. Here he goes. He's at the 20, inside the 10. And he will score. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And for Perkins, he's made an impression on this defense tonight. You know, the most impressive thing you could say is not only does the entire defense know, the entire stadium knows he's going to get the football, and they still cannot slow him down. That's a commitment by the running back. It's also a commitment by the offensive line and the coach. And this is just power running football weather. Old school roll up. His... Little screen pass intercepted. Touchdown, Seminole. converts the extra point. Florida State is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, I remember you had nights like this. Well, I think sometimes in these kind of conditions for a quarterback, you really have to do a great job of getting a good grip on the ball. And I really wonder with him and the turnovers if that's starting to become an issue for him. Well, when you play on the road, it's tough to be perfect, but he's not making things any easier for his teammates. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Strike to his receiver, no good. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Got a man tackled for a loss, a four-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Tackled after a decent pickup. Robinson to punt. And for Rivera, 
He's put up good numbers. Well, I think the great thing that he's been able to do is spread the football around. It's not just been one receiver. And when you can find more receivers, it makes it much easier to move the ball down the field. And you know about his ability to make the decisions, but you have to have the arm. And this guy has one of the strongest arms in college football. He can make every throw as we've seen today. Nice gain as he works the right side. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 39. Now it's first and ten with a trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Less than three minutes in the game. He's taken down right around the 14-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Touchdown, FSU! the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, wait till you see what's happening in Seattle. And for Virginia, they've won two straight. And for Williams, he had a big day with three touchdown runs. The Cavaliers win it by three. Cantrell looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Zips it to the back. And he's leveled at the 27-yard line. Second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Caught out in the open. He's knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks First like that, down. you've got the defense right where you want it. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds around the 47-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. And he's tackled around the three-yard line. That's a gain of 50 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal.
splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a five play, 75 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds, bounds. kicking team. team. So the offense will take over with pretty good field position. The onside Still kick just down. wasn't successful there. The kicker really didn't give his guys a chance to make a play. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator is going to be living. got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. So it's second down and about two yards to go. A little over a minute in the game. Throws incomplete intended for his wideouts. Florida State's got some new faces on the roster that they're expecting some big things from, partner. And, you know, that's what's great about college football. New faces every year, unexpected stars, and the newcomers that kind of splash onto the scene. He's at the 30, and they make the stop at the 25-yard line. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. the 25-yard line. First down. So not only did they risk an interception, but now they've given them more time. I just don't get it. That makes it second and ten. out of timeouts. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits the uprights. Florida State ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, Kirk, I guess you can say this. If you like offense, it's been entertaining. Well, don't get me wrong. I, I love offensive firepower, but I just wish it was a closer game, more competitive here in the fourth quarter. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. The spike will stop the clock. That'll make it 35. From their own 30-yard line. It's third down. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. And a 
quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 41 yard line. First down. Under a minute left. Steps up and goes down. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, and especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. He's going to air it long. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. This one's in the books, and our final score, Florida State 66, Clemson 49. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? I'm not surprised at all. Clemson is not a bad football team, but they don't have the killer instinct that it takes to knock off some of the better teams they face. I saw a team out there today that wasn't playing to win. They were playing not to lose, and that just doesn't work. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.